Borthakur IS Academy, an endeavor of excellence. Borthakur IS Academy. Hello everyone, welcome to Borthakur IS Academy, Northeast's premier institute for UPSC and APSC preparation. Today we will be analyzing some important news dated 24th of April 2021. Please like and share this video and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel. In the description box below, we have provided the link for today's e-paper of the Assam Tribune so that you can download it from there. So let's get started. Ajay, first news to Hose, as you can see, COVID-19 vaccination challenges and also the Chinese model. Jitya, last year, uh, number of COVID cases, daily COVID cases, Komi and Isile. Then uh, in our country, many experts were of the opinion that uh, second wave of COVID-19 is quite un unlikely in India. And uh, somehow if it occurs, then it won't be quite devastating. It would be still under control. But now, as we can see, uh, the second wave is quite dangerous. It, we are in the midst of the second wave and it has brought the health infrastructure of our country on the verge of collapse. I mean, every day we get the news uh, of oxygen, uh, you know, uh, oxygen shortage and then this vaccination shortage. About as it a vaccine drive start was still, then it was only administered to the senior citizens and the government officials, frontline workers. But then they reduced the age limit to 45. And now because of uh, the combination of public pressure, panic and the magnitude of the crisis, of course, uh, it has prompted the union government to administer vaccines to anyone above 80. Now, this again is a challenge in itself because Jitya population, uh, Jitya age limit, BC is 45 and you know, the senior citizens and other frontline workers and government officials. At that point of time itself, it was quite difficult to manage this huge population of India. Jitya, Jitya age limit to Aru further, 18 plus Korji said, then definitely there will be a shortage of vaccine because within a short period of time, we will not just have to give the first dose, first shot to these new uh, people, okay, these new age groups. Second shot, Jitu Lobologia, Asa Purana, Jihini Mahmoud Lois, Temlopoku vaccine provide Korbolago. Etia, Jitu age limit, Aru further, 18 plus Korji said, this has resulted in other related issues. This accelerated rollout of vaccine, it has got some other related issues, which includes vaccine shortage. Because Amar population to Iman Besi large, we are the second most populated nation in the world. If we continue to vaccinate our pro, uh, people at the rate of 3 million doses per day, then also it is going to take around 260 days from April for every adult to get at least one single shot. And we all know that after taking the first shot, you'll have to take the second shot by three after three to six weeks. That is uh, right now that seems difficult because of shortage of raw materials. Jikini US or raw materials, ahibologia asile like bags, cell structure, cell culture media, single use tubing, but specialized chemicals or medicines, jikini ahibologia asile, that has been on hold because of the uh, ban in export. This has disrupted production in uh, production of vaccine in India. Our global commitment already India India has so far distributed 84 uh, vaccines in 84 nations. Okay, 28 million doses has been provided by India. So a jikini obligation to and that needs to be followed up uh, by the second dose. So already a uh, global commitment maintain initially jitia january 21st at start course it was only the it was only provided for the senior citizens and the frontline workers India age limit to come 18 plus course so now we will have to include certain changes we'll have to make our vaccination policy more targeted right we'll have to uh, we'll have to implement them in a more strict manner our tar khetrat ami to China residential committee role hoy in containing the COVID-19 virus there, specifically in Wuhan when it started in late 2019. Tar ami example to Lobo Paru, how at grassroots level they worked under the most critical uh, during the most critical situations. Prothom Kedinman confusion uh, as the epidemic broke out, but thereafter they took full charge. It specifically in Wuhan, Ami Dekisiluze, all the communities they were. Uh, closed off and the workers or the volunteers they enforced strict rules on entries and exits so tar jikini a regional uh, residential committee sorry a residential committee jikini members as well volunteers as well they went from home to home to keep a check on the family members health status 
temperature, regular temperature checks and they also gathered information about travel history, contact tracing and all these kind of things. Even home delivery of uh, food essentials and other important commodities was, were done by this residential committees. So we can uh, definitely take example, we can learn from this Chinese model of the residential committees. Residential committees are not a part of the state, but these are institutions of self-governance, which uh, mainly work for effective governance and political control. Etia Amar, if we have to, uh, you know, move out of this current situation, if we have to fight this current second wave of COVID-19, then we will have to bring certain changes in our uh, perspective, right? Ami Etia leke janake kam kori asilu. This is not sufficient. We'll have to change our ways. We'll have to strengthen the vaccine supply chain. We'll have to uh, make sure that there is minimum or around nil uh, uh, wastage of vaccines. Then we'll have to boost the domestic production, and also we'll have to. Uh, try to introduce these RC models just like in China we'll have to try to implement them in the uh, local areas so that if this uh, if this becomes successful we can implement it on a large scale as the nature of pandemic is uh, you know getting uh, severe day by day it is the need of the hour for the central uh, leadership to step up and coordinate such policy measures across our country. The second news is another important uh, and interesting news uh, from the science and technology section. It is about the chimera research of human cells in monkey embryos. Recently, uh, Sok Institute for Biological Studies, a center in the United States, okay, they have carried on the chimera research for the first time and tried to grow human cells in monkey embryos. And uh, by integrating the human cells into the monkey embryos uh, embryos of the macaque monkey cure a macaque monkey species to specifically choose for us to discuss for it okay and by integrating this they tried to create a chimeric tool now chimera these are organisms which are made up of cells of two distinct species and yate a khetrot human being aru monkeys bebohar kora hoise e duta species use hoise and this is uh, mainly to you know uh, this can possibly grow into a new kind of animal first thing and then this is also used for a variety of research purpose first uh, obviously to understand human development and uh, drug evaluation how a particular drug uh, reacts in uh, in case of organ transplantation so that can be studied human development or uh, early human development can get disease onset high how human beings you know uh, they age and how a particular disease progress in our body so that can also be studied so a disease can get spread high disease can get start high human body cancerous cells were can get contain contained in human body right so all these things all this research can be um, this uh, conducted by the use of the chimeric tools are hey karne a jitu research hoy eto agoteo in the year 2017 also it was um, scientists tried to integrate the human cells but they, the experiment failed as they used pig tissues pig tissues tetia hetu time on hekarne use kara hoisile because of the similarity in or, uh, anatomy and organ size physiology but because human beings are uh, you know different uh, when it comes to the evolutionary distance between pigs and humans because of that this experiment failed and hence this time the scientists they chose uh, this species of macaque monkey because of their closeness in the evolutionary journey our year a due to step high as the heading says it has sparked ethics debate ethics debate ekarne arise hoise because uh, you know we have always seen uh, certain organizations standing up for the injustice against animals and this type of experiments they are uh, they for they further act as a threat towards the security of animals and hekarne chimera research has the potential to worsen this situation and uh, hence the, uh, this particular debate has arisen and also how uh, fruitful will be transplantations of a third and uh, individual right third organism tarpora organs loi pele hekhini transplant to human body kora jay this is one of the objective of this research whole research of chimera tools right so this is one of the uh, objective and when this particular um, 
activity will be conducted when this particular experiment will be conducted and then how fruitful it will that be for the human race that is also a, a debatable factor right now and in india the production of hybrid animals was banned since uh, 18 uh, 1985 and yate genetically modified jibur crops hoy tar upor tu bahut kisuman questions ase bahut kisuman guidelines ase je to follow koribo lage genetic modification uh, undoubtedly is is important because uh, you know it is uh, it is a way forward for us but at the same time we cannot uh, conduct uh, experiments or we cannot uh, go on conducting research activities in the name of development by uh, harming these uh, innocent animals so that is the reason why this is an important topic under bioethics so bioethics at a important or at a comparatively notun topic hoy jot essay jar bikhot essay likhibole ahibo pare and uh, bioethics is the branch of ethics jot ami enekwa dhoronor specific kisuman uh, cases analyze koru which has some controversial moral issues related to it like abortion uh, euthanasia which is also known as mercy killing and then this topic of animal rights are this particular topic it helps us to use our knowledge uh, of the moral principles to tackle such situation our bioethics or this one major uh, role thake to play in in current situation aru tar belak belak missions kisuman thake first to hoise to raise questions and to stop practices which are unethical among the healthcare institutions healthcare it to a to particular human cell uh, growing monkey embryos case hoy that itself is an, a very good example of this uh, healthcare institution bioethical uh, practices in healthcare institutions because yaar ami dekhisu je kisuman belak organisms like monkeys or pigs they were involved and that might be a health threat to these organisms for human development we cannot harm the innocent species here to the first point hoy the next news is about india us announcing clean energy initiatives recently uh, the leaders summit on climate change was hosted by us president joe biden aru tat 40 world leaders were invited and uh, it included prime minister of india presidents of china and russia and uh, the main aim was uh, the urgency of building a stronger of taking a stronger climate action aru a g2 summit hai it is also seen as a key milestone on the road to united nations climate change conference cop26 g2 held hobo goyase in november 21 at glasgow in this particular summit us has uh, announced that it is going to cut its greenhouse gas emissions by 50 to 52% by 2030 relative to the 2005 levels and here our prime minister narendra modi he has also announced uh, in this particular summit that india and us will be launching an energy and climate partnership your main g uh, the objective hobo it will include the strategic clean energy partnership and the climate action and also finance mobilization dialogue India is also targeting a 2030 GDP emission intensity below um, the the 2005 levels that is 33 to 35 percent, and also India is targeting to generate 40 percent of the power from the non-fossil fuel sources by 2030. Now let us have a look at the capsule news for today. First news is about Earth Day 2021. Every year 22nd of April is celebrated as Earth Day in order to raise public awareness about environment and also it uh, inspires people to save and protect our planet. 2021 is marked as the 51st anniversary of this annual celebration which was first celebrated in the year 1970. Our bottom one more than 193 countries they celebrate Earth Year every year. This year's theme was Uh, restore our earth and the paris agreement of 2016 it was also open for signature on 22nd april uh, which was celebrated at the united nations headquarters in new york world earth day basically encourages people to take take such steps which will uh, protect and conserve our mother earth and it will also be sustainably viable for the future generations and in the year 2009 United Nations designated 22nd April as International Mother Earth Day. And the second capsule news is about the 
Indonesian submarine which went missing on 21st of April 2021 named KRI Nangala and this submarine was reportedly uh, performing a torpedo drill while it went missing into the deep waters of north of Bali and it is it has also been reported that uh, 53 personnel were aboard while this uh, accident occurred. The Indian Navy it has tried to provide its uh, help and assistance to the Indonesian Navy through the uh, deep submergence rescue vessel. It has dispatched the DSRV from Vishakhapatnam to support the Indonesian Navy. And also India is one of the few countries in the world who are capable of undertaking such search and rescue operations with the help of DSRV. It can locate a submarine up to 1000 meter depth by utilizing the scan sonar and remotely operated vehicle. Once after they locate the submarine, they can also, uh, with the help of submarine rescue vehicle, can link the submarine to rescue the trapped personnel. So that way, uh, they can also provide emergency supplies to the submarine uh, and uh, can help the personnel who were trapped inside. Thank you so much for watching this video. This was all for today. I'll see you all again tomorrow with another session of newspaper analysis only at Bothaku IAS Academy. Northeast's premier institute for UPSC and APSC preparation. Till then, take care and keep learning. Bye bye. Bothakur IS Academy. Prostuti Aruadhonor Nirbhor Jugotikona. Bothakur IS Academy.